Welcome back everybody. This is another episode of Teacher Tech Tactics. Now we're getting into the Toddle mobile educator app today. And the reason for that is because this app makes evidencing so much easier for you when you're going through those units of inquiry with your students and you're touching all those different areas as well as just showing the progression as you've uh, entered the unit and when you are exiting the unit any kind of activities you're doing, any kind of work that the students are doing, any kind of bulletin boards, you should definitely use this app. I'm gonna show you how to get into it. We're gonna talk about where to find it, how to log into it, how to post, and the most simplest part of this is tagging your learning goals. Let's get into it right now. Okay, so finding the app is super simple. We're actually gonna go into Play Store, and if you have an Apple phone, you would use the App Store. You're gonna type in the word Toddle, and it's not the first second it's actually the third result you should look for a red uh guitar pick i guess that's what that is uh and it's gonna say toddle educator you're gonna click that guy and you're gonna go to install and at this point you're basically ready to use the mobile app it's exactly like the website when it first rolls up you get that splash screen and it's gonna download any kind of updates and it's gonna give you the login now at this point, we're gonna log in the same way we do every single day. We're gonna actually use sign in through Microsoft because that's what we use, the Microsoft 365. So I'm gonna log in and we're gonna start the second part of the video. Okay, so once you're in, this is exactly what you see. The PYP home, uh, the name of your school, the notification bell, and the first two letters of your initials. Now. The first name, if you click it, it'll give you all of those profile settings, anything you want to change, the school calendar, policies, settings, and most of all, log out. However, you don't really need to log out. It's just best to always stay in. Um, over here, you have your announcements, your goals, and down here is where you would get to your actual classes. Now, if you've been using Class Dojo, uh, the younger grades, it rolls exactly the same way. You have uh, the name and any activities of pictures, bulletin boards, and any activities you've done with the students. You can post directly to this, and it's super simple. The kids can see it, but again, this is better because it logs directly to your Toddle account. So when you go into evidencing within it, these pictures are there, and I'm gonna show you that later. Underneath each one, we have a little memo of anything that you write down and tagging the learning goals, the unit details, the learning experiences, and all of the learning goals that go along with it. Okay, so to get started, it's pretty simple. We're gonna go up here to the red plus button and it rolls just like Class Dojo. It gives you the same level of all the different uh, mediums you could use when you're in sending up any kind of information to be posted to your classroom. So uh, over here we have the photo, photo collage, video, voice. We can use um, the note or the link, workbook, file, any one of these work. Uh, but for this video, we're just gonna get into the photo. So once you press it, you're given two different options. And the two different options are you're gonna take a photo with the actual camera. So if you are right in front of the physical bulletin board and you wanna take a picture, you would click the first option. If you've already taken a photo of whatever you needed, you would go to choose from gallery. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into that. And it's always gonna ask you for permissions. That's most mobile phones, they always do that. And I'm gonna get into my gallery and show you how that whole thing works right now. Okay, and I'm gonna choose uh, these. Okay, so once you select the photos that you want, it's pretty simple to do. I navigate through my phone very, very quickly. Um, I'm gonna press done. It's gonna process the four photos and this is them right here. So the students were actually working on creating a toy car. They had to look at all the different uh, portions of that. Over here, if I press this guy, it's gonna give me a voice memo. Okay, over here, uh, could actually be your caption, your anecdote, everything you want to say. I'm going to just kind of speak that into here. Within the unit lesson, the students use materials to create a toy car, period. They also identified imperative simple machines needed for a toy car to work efficiently, period. Okay, I'm going to look that over. Oh, that happens. Okay, 
and I think I'm pretty good at this point. So uh, before you go to publish, you could always edit your post too, actually. Uh, it says tag your students and you could tag your learning goals. This is the really simple stuff. So we're gonna press that plus button and we're gonna choose the correct one, which would be our second unit of inquiry, which is where we are in place and time because they figured out how cars have changed over time. They developed questions and basically all of these traits, any one of the learning goals that you've selected for the learning experience, you could kind of go through maps and monuments, oral history, sharing memories, creating a timeline, learning from your history. There's a whole bunch of these too. I can, yep, about exploration. I can identify, mm-hmm. Any one of these that you notice that the students definitely chose, you would just choose. But again, you're only allowed to choose one. So for this one, I'm just gonna choose the one at the top. Now at this point, you're given approaches to learning. You could copy all the communication skills and you check those off. Any literacy skills, any ICT skills, and it's it's literally a click of checking a box and you've fulfilled that in evidencing. So again, this makes your life much more easier. Okay, and there's so many different skills. So once you've figured out all the learning goals that you wanna tag, you're gonna to go to publish, and boom, it is published, okay? If something is missing and you forgot something, you can always press the three dots beside the posts, and instead of delete post, you're gonna to go to edit post. And again, you're back to the same exact screen where you can tag the learning goals again. You could change them if you need be. You could talk about any, uh, change it to one of the learning goals that you chose. And you could then again, pick the approaches to learning, the uh, learner profile attributes that the kids were using, any new concepts that they were working on, any subject standards specifically you were hitting and whatever action that they were doing. Once you're done with that, you press done and you just press update post down at the bottom and it literally updates the post. So let's see what you're gonna see on the actual computer right now. Now, I'm back in the app. Now, here's the web version of the app. It only has this extra splash screen stuff it didn't have before, but the basics are basically here. We have the name of the PYP. We have my name. We have the announcements. We have the calendar. And most of all, we have my name. So at this point, if you click your name and you scroll on down to the unit that we chose, which was unit two, where we are in place and time, we already have the planning, we already have the implementing, we have the unit flow, this is the evidencing, and right here we already have, oh, Kevin's already in there, perfect. Uh, we already have pictures of the students working, the same ones that I uploaded through the phone, and any kind of evidence, any kind of bulletin boards, any kind of writing assessment, um, any kind of uh, formative as well as summative assessment you will give at the end of the unit can go here any evidence of action that the students does. Take a picture with the app, upload it. You can tag all those learning goals that you're seeing, and then you just have to reflect, and then you're good to go. So I hope that you found this super helpful. I'm definitely gonna be using this app. I hope you do too. It makes your life a lot easier, and it totally shows that you're completing all of these units of inquiry that we've been doing. So um, why not use it, right? Uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. And uh, yep, that'll do it.